Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Bounce Run and today I'm going to be doing a run with the Pyromancer. I'm going to be doing an unranked run because I want to do a meme build and meme builds are better in unranked in my opinion and also I'm in diamond so I don't really want to kill my uh, build for no reason. Anyway, let's begin. The build is going to be a region uh, heat build, that's the idea here. Should I go for a torch or a lump of coal? You know, let's actually go for a torch. Let's actually go for a torch. And uh, let's roll them and maybe find... I could go for a... Did I go for a good old, a good old simple and basic shovel? Maybe a shovel build is the play. And we found a spike here and a spiky shield. I don't think we're going to go with that. Let's go with piggy bank for the money income. As uh, I think it's a good idea to go for income if you play on unranked. As you should have easier fights going through. Now, there has been a patch. They nerfed the pyro again. They are doing a bunch of nerfs to pyro and berserker. But it just so happens that they don't nerf the thing I specifically am going to go to. Uh, this guy is an actual normal build, which we could lose from uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I went with this start. We have two region and that two region is keeping us in the game. Two region heals you more than a banana, by the way. And we won very nice. And we also blinded them. Very, very nice. Let's see if I can get my uh, nice. I found it. So uh, we're going to go with a leather bag here and a good old pan. And let's also throw in another flame as I will be a flame build. I'm not going to go with a classic uh, wooden sword, the whetstone burning build. I think we're going to go with a, just a basic torch and broom build. Torch and broom, torch and broom. And when I say broom, I mean shovel. Shovel. Uh, by the way, this flame should have been inside the zone. These should be switched, but it's okay. Is this a fire item? No, it's not. Uh, we have four less max life. So now the fire pit gives you four maximum health per fire item, not five. The number five was a very classic, basic human numbers thing, right? Humans do enjoy having round numbers on their things. So I guess when they added the pyro, they were like, yeah, it's going to give them five life. <laughs> Disregarding that, it's literally 45 life. Boom. And we got the burning torch now. So start of battle gain to heat and on hit chance to gain one heat damage. Uh, gain one damage and if you have at least eight heat gain two damage so this used to be 30 percent chance to gain one and at 15 heat gain two now it's changed let's go lump of coal i would say put it on a weapon let's also go banana for sure and a heat i should have all the flames inside that zone so let's flippity floppity and uh now fire is my property and these should also be like this and uh let's roll and do inventory i would say i never found the spike ah whatever roll them found attack speed very nice one our broom let's go with attack speed and push this up and push this also like this very nice uh do i want the stone skin potion i would say yes i want to go into a full-on harp send defensive build and therefore we need these and that's another very cheap piggy bank that's super lucky wait i could have bought the piggy bank to get the money income it's okay though a double piggy bank and a chili pepper early. So what the what is the build going to be? At least what is the build going to be in my opinion? So the build is going to be, if I can find... Actually, I'm going to do the shopping list after we do this fight. Because um, I want to have the shopping list cut and clear what I wanted to. We should be winning here as I do have a double weapon and also burning torch. And also banana giving us enough energy. These guys have spikes, but that was not enough. How much damage did the spikes do, by the way? They should have done the most damage. This is still not fixed, by the way. Um, the you're gonna see after the next fight when I open the change log, it's gonna be off screen or something crazy. 44 damage on the spikes, okay. The torch had, had how much damage? Five to seven. Let's go. So, shopping uh, build time, I guess. The build is going to be the following in my mind. Uh, I want to find uh, five to six to ten chili peppers, and then I also want to find uh, five to six uh, healing uh, hearts, the big hearts there that give you like super duper region, and then that's pretty much it. For those items to appear, obviously it would be nice to get. Oh, also, also, stone skin, four stone skin potions and four helmets of protection. I'm not really sure what they're called. Those are gonna protect us from dying. Because they will provide us with shielding. Uh, not shielding. They will uh, protect us from getting crit death. Is actually what I'm saying here. Do I care about mana and mana gain? Yes. I definitely want blueberries. I would say two blueberries would be enough. If not three. Because we need this mana region. As we will be a mana build. Uh, let's roll those. And we found my first chili pepper. And I also found a leather bag. Do I want to get a goo bird into the chili pepper? Mm, I think... No... I think no, but the fact of the matter is, is yes, because we will have so many active items where a Goobert would be helpful, I would assume. Anyway, let's play the game as it is. We have a chance to remove debuffs here. And uh, which one, one of these two is attacking faster? 1.4, 2.4. I would prefer if the Burning Coal has a higher chance to trigger. Actually, no, let's try to get rid of the debuffs more than the other one. And region is definitely the choice, and also Biggie Banks for money is also the choice. 
Let's go. We're not going to be a weapon build, by the way. I'm not even going to have a weapon the way I'm thinking about this. I want to do a super duper duper region build. As region as possible. More region than the region build I actually do. That's This is like a new style region build. These guys have up to six spikes. And that's exactly why I had the chipped amethyst there. Please, 20% chance to get rid of the spikes. Nice. Now four spikes. We take less damage. They're about to activate. They don't have a weapon, by the way. They are not a build. They're playing with us. That makes sense because we're playing on unranked, but it's okay. We found a spike. We don't care about that, though. Let's go here. And uh, I would say you definitely join and you also join. And I would like to combine these. So let's, for one turn, not have a piggy bank in, I guess. Income loss, income loss. Let's go like that and like this. Perfect. This is not min-maxed, I would say. Uh, but it's good enough. I could push these all to the very top. I'm going to do a reorganized time here, I guess. Let's push everything to the top. I'm not sure if this is better, but let's go with this. Also, let's throw away two hearts to get the coin, two flames to get the coin. I'm going to keep all of these because they definitely will fit at the long run. In the long run. Uh, but for now, we're going to go with what we have. Theoretically, we should win this as we do have enough regen and also Goober to heal us. Like in general, and they don't have scaling. They do have a Tusk Piercer poker giving them spikes, but that's it. We have a 20% chance to remove debuffs anyway. Uh, if I can get rid of the spikes, that would be the best. Or if I could get rid of the region, I got rid of whatever there was there, luck, I guess. And we won at this point. Uh, it's actually a race, but still we won. We had region, we had healing, we had the good old Goober, the god. And we're gonna get definitely now a Sunscreen Potion. And uh, let's... Uh, attack speed is not really that relevant. I'm not gonna be an attack speed build. I want more better inventory space. This got also nerfed, Raconic Orb. This used to give you 4 crits, now it gives you 3 crits. And it used to take away 1 spike every 2.5 seconds. Now it's every 3 seconds. So a bit insane. I will take this though, because this might give us 4 to 5 flames. And 4 to 5 flames is enough for it to be worth it. Uh, I guess let's also put a mana in this. And let's go. This is definitely not a good inventory that we have created here. But uh, I just need to find inventory space. And we're going to transition into the build uh, regardless. I just need to find the inventory space, as I just mentioned. Now we have Chili Goobert. Every 6 activations, we gain 2 heat and heal 10. So now we're already at 10 heat here. Uh, mana is a bit irrelevant at this point. We're still healing and we're still getting heat. They are not. Uh, I do need more bananas because I have a double weapon build. But the double weapons are going to go in a moment. I haven't anything to put in their place yet, though. That's why we stay as we are. Uh, I guess I'm going to get an attack speed belt. I need some kind of inventory. Oh, no, there was... The helmet, Sift. The helmet. That is part of the build. Doesn't matter what we gain here. I just need inventory space. And we found a chili and mana gain. Perfect. The helmet was part of the build. That's why I have the stone skin potions. Man, the stone skin potions are exactly for that reason. Let's go flame. Actually, let's put all the flames inside the flame zone so we have a bit more max life. Nice, and I think we're good to go. And I found an attack speed chip group, maybe, but I think that's irrelevant. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. And we're gonna buy these two next turn. This got buffed by the... No, this got not buffed. Let's go. Why do I have a stone? Sell the stone. I buy this so we don't have to lock things down. It's also saying the blindness. And will I get the attack speed? Will I use this thing? I don't know. I really enjoy that the shovel is giving you money, pretty much. A money printing machine is what that thing is. Man, I lost the helmet. That was so stupid of me. I should have caught the helmet. It is what it is. Uh, I want more chili peppers, of course. The chance of us getting more chili peppers is a bit slim. The idea of us having a bunch of chili peppers is that I want to be able to get rid of debuffs. And I also want to be healing because chili peppers heal you for five every time they trigger. Now, we still have energy issues, but that's okay. This thing is attacking fast enough. 0 0.93. Maybe I should get rid of the shovel already. I think we're losing out on builds on runs because I have a double weapon build instead of going for a single one. Let's actually see the difference with damage to realize. Yeah, the shovel did 29 damage and the uh, burning thrust 99. But the thing is that the shovel takes away 1.7 energy per hit uh, while the this takes one. So those five hits that that did thing, it would have been better otherwise. So we're going to go friendly fire as a build, although this is the region item, of course. We're going to go friendly fire. This thing says every 3.5 seconds, use one mana to gain two heat. And triggers faster for each fire item around. And then when I hit 20 heat, I gain 5 luck, which is relevant. At 40 heat, I gain 15 luck. So we're skipping our way into big luck, uh, big region numbers very quickly. And then at 80 heat, we do 100 damage, also relevant. I want to do a super duper burn build. We're here. On an, uh, let's go protect first. Roll them inventory space. Come on, man. Another heat, but that's relevant. Uh, I want inventory space. Found some. 
Uh, we're going to sell the stone. We're going to also sell energy. Let's buy the inventory space. Now I would like to do like a mini reorganize. I definitely want to throw away the shovel. Is what I'm thinking. Uh, so that I have this uh, crazy thing firing faster. Roll them. Nice chili pepper and another mana. Do I care about another mana? I, t I already have two. Which fire every 3.5. This fires every 3.5 too. These are going to fire so fast at some point. Uh, although I can definitely do things with mana is what I'm thinking here. Uh, I, I need to reorganize for sure. We want to put the attack in a better spot. I want to reorganize here. Let's definitely also buy this. It's going to join for sure. And the potions are right now relevant, but they're going to be relevant later. Uh, reorganize time. Okay, here we go. So we no longer have... No, we do have a weapon. We have the Burning Torch. Let's go. I still want... I found another Chili Pepper. Very nice. The build is slowly progressing towards what I want it to be. Uh, we do have three Blueberries, so that's enough for infinite mana gain. So this thing is now going to start gaining heat extremely fast. And we do have one banana to maybe somehow maintain my energy uh, consumption. Which, theoretically, as, as much the banana consumes, that's how much the Burning Torch should be consuming. And we want here. Very nice. They have a triple Goobert. They're going for a Goobert build. Makes sense. We are an Endless anyway. Goobert is the play here. Uh, not endless. Uh, it's not endless. Definitely not endless. It's... Uh, <laughs> what is it called? Whatever we are in. Uh, let's uh, roll them, I would say. I could go with starting with two region. Nah, let's roll them. And uh, roll them again. Inventory space. Found some. Inventory space is the most important aspect here. And I did find another one of those chili. So let's put that there. Uh, although, actually, like this would be better. But I want to boost this chili's attack speed the most. Uh, maybe it's something like this. Nah. Oh, you know what? This chili should be up here, actually. Yeah, uh, both chilies should be touching for the 20% attack speed boost. And then just connect to everything so they get even more. I wouldn't say this is a perfect placement on these. But it's okay. Maybe the chili firing faster is the better choice. I think this is better. Can I min-max this even more? No, it's even better in my opinion. Yeah, this is super connected. This is super duper connected. Yeah, I think it's better this way. And uh, let's go, I would say. You just go over here. So this gets a little bit more boost. And let's continue. The build is slowly coming together. The build, by the way, being a bunch of region. And I want to now get my hearts. I For that, for us to get the hearts, it's very important to find the good old... Um, what is it called? The thing that says you find higher tier items. And we're about to hit 100 heat, by the way. 80 heat. At 80 heat, we do 100 damage to them. They're gone. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I want to get rid of the torch, though. I don't want to be killing them. And I found our Sun's Potion. Very important. Let's go. Even more attack speed. This attack speed is a bit irrelevant as of right now. I guess it could go up here. And then this team could go somewhere else. No, you stay here. And you stay there. Flame into this corner. And a piggy bank. And we're done. This is maxed out. The rest are still nice. Roll them. Um, on even more inventory space. I don't think I need mana. Roll them. Uh, Bullpen Tiger doesn't really fit what I'm trying to do. Roll them. Nice. This fits. Uh, Goobert. No. We're going with Chili Peppers over Goobert. And let's go on. These are going to become the Shielding Boy. And this is what I want. Heart of Darkness. But I want the Heart version. The good version. The healing version. This is also a friendly fire build. I'm going to definitely generate more fire than them. Guaranteed. And we're at 40 flames here. So we got my 15 regen. So now we should definitely survive. They're taking region away from us with the, specifically the Heart of Darkness. But it's okay, they're dead already. Nice. And I had 8 energy there. Let's go. Okay, I want to find things, please. Go, boom. Nope, even more attack speed. Uh, I guess this should go here. And then the single spotter should be here. Boom. Perfect. Roll them. Another chili pepper. Perfect. This goes in this corner. Continue rolling. Uh, I did see that I found another one of these, but right now I'm not even using these, so there is no real reason to do that. Why would I buy something that I can't even equip? Um, so yeah, the the helmet I lost was a big mistake of mine. The other one, the potion's gonna go here. I don't think I get armor, so the potions can get activated right now. And not. I want like th four hearts in this line. Or, fi or five hearts, and then like even more here. I'm at about to hit 80 heat. At 80 heat, they take 100 damage and die instantly. And boom. That's 100 true damage, by the way. That's always a flat amount. Nice. Let's go here. I'm not going to buy region for four. I will uh, put the flames in. I don't know why I didn't have them previously. And we found even more attack speed. I guess they should go to this chili pepper. Or actually, it should be like this and like this. 
so that both of these chilies get a crazy attack speed boost. And then you go here and here. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I wouldn't say perfect, actually. I am saying perfect, but I don't mean perfect. But it's still nice. Uh, this is flame gain. Boom and boom. And you go. Very nice. Another flame. Why not? Roll them. And I found my first heart. And also a chili pepper. Okay, so I would say we buy the heart. As that is a difference maker. So uh, I would say let's sell one of the flames. You join. I don't need this mana. The blueberry is not really that much needed. Although I gained so much mana here, which might somehow save us. This only costs one anyway. So let's... Is that gonna save us? Save us wouldn't really make sense. Mana gain. I already have three of them, man. I don't think we need mana. Let's have it locked there in case I buy it, but I don't think we have mana issues. I can even see if we ever have mana issues. And this is an actual super awesome build with a Ripsaw Blade that's gonna counter us. Uh, but that's also relevant because the moment I hit 40 heat, we're gonna instantly get the hard container. Boom, we that activated now. So it is take they are taking away my region, but we're generating region still. No, they took it all 80 damage, 100 damage. Boom, that was 50 damage actually because they have 50% damage reduction right now, and they lost. Easy enough. Easy enough. It was exactly the plan. Let's go burn. I didn't check for energy issues, mana issues, not energy issues. You go here. I mean, it should be over there. It should be somewhere else. Uh, the flames should be over there. So let's flip this like that. And reorganize the flame spots. That's what we're gonna do. So I can have my wood items where I want them to be. Nice. These activate faster again. Uh, do I have anything here that... Oh, you know what? You can whoop. Just like that. Very nice. Let's have everything looking upward just so that it's sexy. And I think we're good. Uh, this doesn't really fit. Roll them, roll them, and found inventory space again, and let's go on. I don't really need the energy, though. I could also go for the cleansing and damage immunity. Uh, I don't think I care about that either. I want to get rid of the flame at some point. If I get three heart containers, I'm going to throw away the burning torch. That's my promise, uh, as long as I get three heart containers. Because until then, we're going to most likely lose. Also, this thing attacking fast takes away buffs, nice. They're trying to get mana, but we're not going to allow them. I'm at 80 heat about. I have my region going up. We're about to die. 180 heat hitting 100 damage to them. Boom. That made the difference. And we actually won at the very last moment. Off into endless as this is not ranked. And we found... I still have not found the thing that I want to combine with these boys. With the potions. The potions are not even firing by the way. Roll them. Roll them. Found the inventory space. And I found the heart which is obviously more important. Put a flame in. And I think we're good to go. Let's go. At least, at long last, I find my second heart. Wait a minute. If I sell this for three, I'm not going to be able to get a heart. So I'm going to get the heart next. And this is a build that doesn't do anything other than fatigue and poison a little bit. We should have this easily. It's a card build, of course. They took away a couple of buffs there with the uh, Black Lotus. Do they have another Black Lotus? Mm, yes, they did. But that was that. I'm already at 80 heat. Yeah, they're going to be about to hit. I, do, I don't have mana issues. So that's guaranteed now. We don't have mana issues. Very nice. And I also don't have poison issues and any debuff issues whatsoever. Let's go here. Do I want a glowing crown number two? I would say yes. So the time has come to transition away from the build. You go. You join. Now we do have a glowing crown healing us. You're going to go right over here. <laughs> As the potions are right now still useless. Uh, we also have this uh, every eight seconds cleanse a random debuff. Opponent's healing is reduced. No, no, we're going to go with cleanse a random debuff. We have so many cleanse a random debuff anyway. Banana is a bit irrelevant at this point, by the way. Uh, roll them. There was a two region, though. Should have maybe gotten the two region. Roll them. And I've at long last have found the cap of resilience. The cap of resilience. And I also found a customer card, which is going to give us high roll into holy, uh, godly items, which I want more of these hearts. I have four turns to survive. Let's go. Let's see how this is going to go. This is a, the old godlike build with a double falcon blade. This guy rolled a double falcon blade. They should destroy us. Destroy is a, a weak word here. They should uber destroy us. Uh, unless we somehow re out regen them, which is very slim. They just got a 200 crit from the flames. I never saw the flames crit ever. One more survival and we win. No. It was very close for us surviving. Since when do the flames crit? Since when do the flames crit? How did they take 200 damage smack there? Dealt zero damage from Falcon Blades, yeah. 
Wait, 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 wait. And then here, 200 damage. What was that? No, it was here. 200 crit friendly fire. Oh, because I don't have weapons. And the Draconic Orbs is guaranteed crit. So that's why that thing grit. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. We have a 200 pop to go through. If I had one more heart, it would have survived, by the way. So close. I hope we're going to fight another godlike enemy. And I found another heart. Unbelievable. We're going for the heart over the, the Cabal Resilience. I will actually buy the Cabal Resilience too. And I also want that. Uh, so, now we need to actually reorganize a little bit. I would say we throw away the two piggy banks and that's that. Done. Done already. We don't need to have the hearts next to each other. Uh, this needs to be next to the potion though. So you go here. Also done. And I would say let's sell these. Both of them, yes. To buy this. So that the shop has a higher chance of giving us what we want. Might as well sell this roll into a heart. Didn't find a heart. Found attack speed though. Might as well buy that cheap. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Now we should survive anything. Let's hope we're gonna fight another god build. This seems like a god build, honestly. This seems like a god build. They do have a double axe with also a bunch of things on them. They have a removal of debuffs, but it's okay. We have three hearts. As long as all three of these hearts pop, we're gonna be good to go. Now, we're never gonna allow them to go low life. Uh, actually, they're gonna get crit here. <laughs> yeah, we're never gonna allow them to go low life. Fatigue is the play. Fatigue is the name of the game here. We have 33, 36 region. I just want to get like 100 plus region. And they can have their lifesteal and whatnot. And I... Let's see. Can they crit us for 100 damage crit? 106 damage crit. Okay, I mean, I have 100 region right now. 114 crit. I uh, Still 100 region. Let's go. Fatigue's kicking in. 50 damage fatigue. They're about to do their ultimate. 69 damage fatigue. I'm still alive. Okay, 100 fatigue. I have 400 heat, by the way. They killed us. They killed us! We had 400 heat in 175 region, and they killed us. How did that happen? I think at half health, they activated this thing's double smag, and that double smag is what killed us. Otherwise, we would have survived. How much attack speed does this have? 1.54. Yeah, I think the double smag killed us. 114, alongside the 114 fatigue, of course. So, what happened here? I was, I was surviving for a long while. Somewhere around here, we started losing life. Max life. They uh, hear the smack is for 154 crit, right? And 93 damage fatigue. Actually, that's not my fatigue. 154. And then these region them. Yeah, whatever. 93 fatigue. Yep, that was a double hit. And then what is that? Brass knuckles. I healed for 228. Brass knuckles. They did 1,800 damage. Man, I enjoy this a lot. Even if we lose, I enjoy what we have created here. The stupidity of it. If I get one more heart container, I think we're never going to lose again. Because having max life is what's carrying us. One damage at the end. Look at this. Healing. 1,800 from region. Let's go again. And I don't have debuffs, by the way. The reason why I don't have debuffs is because I remove everything. And this is what I needed to have to win, by the way. Stone helmet. So, start of battle. Reduce damage taken by 25% for 5 seconds and gain 20 shielding. Whatever. Irrelevant. And then 25% chance to prevent the hit from being a crit. That would have made such a difference. I'm 99% sure that would have made the win. Uh, I would say you go here and you go here. And then you guys can go up there. And we still have our flames everywhere. Let's also have the potions inside the zone now. What is this? Opponent's healing reduced? Yeah, let's go with that. Opponent healing reduced. That could have also saved us. Roll them. Found the last item slot. Boom. And now we hope to find one more heart. Found another chili pepper. Uh, I mean, yeah, the chili pepper definitely joins. That's even more heat gain. This one heat can go. Should it go though? I think it could go. Uh, first of all, let's reroll into finding something. That's irrelevant. And those are also relevant. So there's no reason for us to keep the heat. It's gonna go here. And the next turn we roll more and hope to find one last heart. And let's see how this gonna go. I think at three hearts we're good though. And now I have one more chili pepper, that's even better. Let's see how this fight's gonna go. This is a potion build. What? We should easily destroy this. They're taking they're stealing hearts away from us, but we generate so much heat and hearts. We're gonna get rid of all the poison and we can no longer lose. 200 damage crit, doesn't matter. As long as I get rid of the poison, poison we win. Poison. This is a guaranteed fatigue fight. Uh, I think the poison is going to go away faster and faster and faster because all the chili goo peppers get rid of poison every time they trigger. I have 29, 30. Protected, 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 protected. Do you see how I cannot get rid of the poison? Protected, 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 protected. They're dying from fatigue. <laughs> they cannot out-heal what we're out-healing. Look at this madness that we have created. 
Look at this madness we have created. I really enjoy what we have done. Oh, I should have looked into us. No, I didn't want to press next. I wanted to look what we had. No, I wanted to see the cooldowns on these things. I really hope the next fight's also going to be... No, survive one more round. No, the game's over. Let's put this here. Sell this, I guess. Uh, please give me a heart as my final item. Please give me a heart as my final item. <laughs> Where are my hearts? Shot in the heart and your tube. It's going to give me a heart right now. Boom. I hate you, game. Uh, so, I'm thinking if I sell this and this... I think one more heart is more important, by the way. So, 3 plus 4, that's 7. 7, 8... Eight, nine. So, one, two, five, nine, plus one, eleven. I need twelve, so I need two more flames to be sold. I sell two flame one spotters. I sell all of these, and I get a heart container. Uh, oh, I can sell this grand tube. Bye. Yeah, then I'm done. These stay. These stay, these stay. So, we, we have three coins. Plus seven, it's ten, and two flames. Done. Okay, we're ready. We are Harmson ready with four hearts. I, I see the chili pepper, by the way. I'm not blind, but I don't think I can buy it. Unless I sell one blueberry. I don't think a chili pepper is worth that. So maybe sell one regen. That's two coins. Five. Three. Actually, yeah, just sell some flames. That's uh, one, two, three, four. And I need to sell one more. One more flame. Or actually one more mana. Mana is not really that, that, that relevant. Got it. And I think it's better. I do really believe it's better. Uh, let's begin. Let's begin. I have a bit of a less items, but a bit more of everything. Please be... Nice, that's regen. And they also have stun. And they also have fatigue. So a lot of things that should actually destroy us. And they also have a lot of scaling. And they also have big smacks. A lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. Let's see how this is gonna go. We don't damage them, obviously. I hope they have life steal. They do have life steal. They have a lot of life steal, actually. So they should theoretically survive. Let's see. Let's see. They have a lot of scaling, and they also out fatigue us by a big margin. As long as they don't stun us, which they do have a stun on the pumpkin play. But still, as long as they don't stun us, we should be able to survive everything. I need like 200 regen here. Oh, it's going on. It's happening, man. It's happening. Let's get up to 500 speed and 200 regen. Let's go! We become immortal! I'm so happy that we actually achieved this here at the end. This guy has regen, obviously. Uh, let's go! My regen's at 300! Ooh, they smack us like crazy! Oh, as long as they don't one-shot us, we still survive this. Oh, we survived this! Let's go! We did it! The final fight was the best fight. 627 flyer, 341 regen. They had 43 vampirism and 25 on power. This thing was out doing 175 damage to 185 damage. Uh, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, uh, let's actually look into, first of all, my cooldowns. 0 0.3, 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.25, 0 0.3, all of these 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0. Point, oh, there is a maximum. We hit the maximum, boys. That's why these have 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, because the maximum seems to be 90% um, fan the cooldown reduction, right? Because this has a 5 second cooldown and it's a 0 0.5. This has a 5 second cooldown, 0 0.5. This has a 3 second cooldown, 0 0.3. This is a 2.5 second cooldown, 0 0.25. You know, it's like it's 10% of their base speed. This has a 3.5, it's a 0 0.25. Why is that a thing, though? I wouldn't say that should be a thing. So at 627 heat, uh, items trigger 2% fast reach. Like, 1,200% faster is what this is. 1,200% faster activation. And I guess there is a cap at 1,000. So when this hits 500, that's when you capped out. 341 regen. Let's actually look into the combat log. They fatigue damage... 2,854 fatigue damage that we tanked. And they couldn't even tank 1,885. Noobs. You know what the fight... I wanted to do... My fight is going to be legendary with them if they were the cheese build. They also had the cheese, by the way. But imagine them being the cheese build. The tried and true uh, 2,000 max life cheese build. That would be super awesome. I would like to do a build like that too. So, yeah, I mean... Fatigue, let's also go healing. 4,000 healing, they. 1,300. They also had a lot of healing, but not 4,000 overhealing. 1,000 overhealing, they had. A bit, a bit. 
a thousand over healing and also four thousand healing and i was full life by the way and chili goober had also healed us a lot uh can i see from what i gained the most heat from friendly fire and chili goober second and then the chili peppers wait a minute wait 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 a minute if the chili goober gave us 110 flames and each chili pepper gave us 57 flames, 56, 54, 54, 54, 53. So that means having two chili peppers is better than having one chili goober, right? Because two chili peppers boosted, those were the boosted ones. Yeah, those were the, the ones that had the attack speed boost. Two chili peppers gave us not only the same amount of... Uh, uh, like these two together give you still 110 right they're also double spotters so they're easier to spot you don't need to have a lot of things around them like the goobert needs to specifically and they also remove debuffs which the goobert does not do and now that we also had chili peppers that were not buffed like this one was not buffed at all and it still gave us 52 heat uh healing wise let's also double check on the healing so chili goober did heal us for 700 but the peppers also healed for the almost same amount 332 320 300 so let's say 100 less healing. Let's say 100 less healing from that. So that's fair, I would say. Um, the heat production we just checked. Uh, and the overall thing that is obviously not visible is that we removed debuffs. Uh, now, opponents did not really apply debuffs. But still, the chili goobert. I think having two chili peppers is better than having a chili goobert. But the fact of the matter is you can get the chili goobert by only having one chili pepper. Right? Like, that's the idea. You make one chili pepper into two. That's literally it. So the chili goobert is as if it's uh, another chili pepper. And also chili goobert makes more sense if you have fast attacking things. If I didn't have fast attacking things, it would have been worse. Uh, maybe I shouldn't even have connected the chili peppers. I should have had connected to hard containers as those were pretty fast. Anyway, what an awesome fight. I really enjoyed this. This guy had a busted blade at the end of the game. This thing gets plus 4 damage per empower. And he had 25 empower. So that's completely insane. Uh, they didn't have spikes because I had the D Draconic Group taking the spikes away. And that's literally what gave us also a bunch of heat. How many? How much heat did I gain from that, by the way? Uh, from the Draconic. Because I can see how many spikes we took away by doing that. The flames gave us one each. Draconic Group, four. So they had four spikes. <laughs> which we took away. Four spikes. What are the chances? They also had a bunch of flawless top bars on the ground, so they didn't have energy issues. Okay, nice build, nice build. I like that. How much was this cooldown? 1.45. Kitty numbers, kitty numbers. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this was an awesome fight. I really enjoyed what we created here. This is exactly what I wanted to create, and it actually worked out. So, as always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around. Oh, by the way, give me feedback if you prefer me playing specifically only ranked, or if you want me to also play on ranked, because on unranked, I could do more meme builds so that I can showcase weird stuff. On rank, that's not really that possible. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.